Well, here I am out in my fancy sports car in a suit. Guess why? Um, I'm here at Tomorrow Council Chambers today to have a Coronation High Tea. How posh. Yes, I'm here to celebrate the new king, quite obviously. I'm a bit of a Republican, but I think um, they form part of our overall culture, so it's good to go and see what happens there. Also, I met HRH a couple of decades ago and her husband, Philip, um, when I was looking after one of the aeroplanes they were flying around in. It was lovely um, and they were nice and so I'm sure King Charles will be nice and I'm looking forward to meeting him some day. Don't know when but I'm sure he'll probably do a tour out here and hopefully tomorrow council will invite him to the chambers and I can come and say hello to the king. Not Elvis, the king. I know that was a pretty corny line. I'm sorry. Here we go. Let's go and have a look at the Coronation High Tea here at Tamora in New South Wales, where they're very culturally aware. This is Lynn, and she made these wonderful, <laughs> what would you call them? Coronation, coronation biscuits. There's a crown and a coronation biscuits. <laughs> Everyone's forming up to have the press photo. How posh again. Little one to the front. I'm gonna put, come on Peter. Here we go. We've got to put our Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, students and captains, friends, one and all. Thank you very much for making time to be here and accept our warm invitation for uh, us to acknowledge the recent coronation of King Charles III, who of course is not only the King of the United Kingdom, but also 14 other realms uh, across uh, the Commonwealth of Nations in Australia, certainly proud to be a part of the Commonwealth of Nations. I have to say, I, I think that um, King Charles has had a great role model, and I'm sure that he will do his best for, uh, for his people across not just the United Kingdom, but for us as a Commonwealth of Nations. Now, we also need to be mindful that um, the King, of course, has uh, an Australian representative, of course, and that is uh, His Excellency General, the Honourable David Hurley. And um, I, I think it's appropriate to uh, pay particular tributes, and I know she'll go crook on me, <laughs> but uh, uh, Lynn Hawthorne, who is the secretary of the Tamora Christian Leaders Group, uh, and Sue um, reminded me just how impressive these special, these special, special biscuits that she has made uh, crown and carriages. And she has decorated them by hand and uh, given them for us to, to share. And uh, so, Lynn, a particular warm thank you to you for your. Yeah. <laughs> but for your kindness and for your generosity, we're deeply, deeply grateful. So thank you so, so much. Thank you for making time to be here. There are um, uh, important, important things that we know that is right to do. And today is one of them, and that is to acknowledge the coronation of, uh, of King Charles III. You are here to honour that. We're very grateful. And uh, before we enjoy the fellowship and the light refreshment, I also want to acknowledge former Councillor Dale Winkie. It's great to have you here, uh, Dale, uh, as well. And wearing your uh, other hat uh, as uh, representative of the Lutheran uh, Church as well. But uh, it's great to have you back in the chamber after your terms in office as a councillor. Uh, but it is important that we, uh, that we acknowledge the coronation as we are today. And with that, 
I'd ask you to please give us uh, three loud cheers. Hopefully King Charles III can hear us uh, back at Buckingham Palace in England. So I'd ask you to please give three cheers to King Charles III. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray. Thank you very much and God save the King. And uh, please, friends, enjoy our hospitality and uh, we are deeply honoured to have you here. So thank you very much. Well, I'm going to take a crown cookie and uh, coach. Look at this. Everything's being unraveled. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray!